Williams may starts to drive. Lost the ball. Weatherspoon with a steal. He's in front of the pack and he slams it. The clock is running into the final 10 seconds. Mississippi State 95, LSU 78. And Mississippi State will win it by that score. I don't think LSU will make any more attempt. And the clock runs out. Anytime you win on the road, that is huge. It's a confidence boost. And our guys saw the difference between how we played against Alabama and then how we played in that game. And then to, to capture that again and carry that over to our next opportunity, which was obviously oh, over in Arkansas. Peters to Kegler. Bounces it down to Holman, and he stuffs it. A nice job by Kegler to feed Holman. One minute left to go in the ballgame. Bulldogs leading at 78-72. Peters on the drive. Down low to Kegler, and he jams it. It was big for us, because in the RPI, you know, they got, they're sitting at a good standards right now. So we just trying to get in the tournament conversation. So we knew we had to go up there and get a big win. So we had to have a good preparation good walkthroughs. We had to stay locked in, not just be satisfied from the win at LSU. You know, we had to bring it at Arkansas, so that's what we went out there and did. And we just got the job done. It gives us some momentum. It gives us two road wins in a row, but the games are over now. The key is learning from how did we do that? How did we get this done? And I think our guys are doing that. It showed from LSU to Arkansas. Now it'll be a next test. What I'm really hopeful for is, uh, you know, that we're going to be able to, uh, you know, keep our composure here as we play on Saturday on CBS in front of uh, what I expect to be a big crowd supporting their Bulldogs. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect. And America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take on 2017 event and save up to 2,500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5,000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Two back-to-back -back road wins, give you a nice boost. They helped us in some ways, could have built a lot of confidence for some of our guys. We know that they, 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 they really did desperate for a win, so all we, all we say is we just stop the transition and then stop the bigs and then make, a, make them shoot, shoot like a low percentage and stuff like that, and then rebound as a team. Everybody got to block out. That's, that's, a, that's the most important thing, so if we beat them on the board, we're going to win the game. Davis has the ball knocked away and a steal. Reddy comes away with a loose basketball. Driving it up the floor. Driving to the free throw line. Underneath the home and he slams it off the good fast break and a nice feed by the Bulldogs' I.J. Rudd. Driving his Peters into the middle of the lane. Bounce pass for Reddy. Little jump shot on the way and good. On the side, Eric Holman, a three on the way, in and good. In a zone right now, driving his Peters, bounce pass inside to Harrod. Nice penetration, feed to Harrod. He slams it on the goal, and the Bulldogs lead 16 to 12. Schneider had his best game of his young career here at Mississippi State. Uh, I thought he really played aggressively, offensively. We got him the ball. I think our guys are, are getting more confident. Uh, to get him the ball and let him go to work. Uh, we did some good post feeding to him. He did a good job uh, following a couple shots uh, on the offensive glass and, and uh, it was good on, uh, at the foul line. Bulldogs gonna stack it up outside the lane. They're gonna break Peters to the outside, get him the basketball. He's on top, he's curled. He's uh, gonna jump back and fire from long range. It's in and out, no good. Tapped up and in! And it's gonna count! Snyder Harrod 
Got his hand up there, knocks it up on the glass and into the goal. Gets his eighth point of the ball game, and the Bulldogs take a lead into the halftime. It was a very physical game. We struggled to uh, score in that game early on. Their length bothered us, uh, and uh, you know, for us to uh, go into halftime shooting six for 25 from the field and still have a one-point lead on a lucky slap at the ball by Schneider on the last play of the first half, uh, you know, gave us hope that, uh, you know, we can play a lot better than this offensively. Defense is a big key for that game. Defense kept us in the game. Even though we were six for 25 in the field, we still was able to go up by one at halftime. And that goes to show you how big defense is in this game. So we just wanted to stay locked in on defense. Ain't no defense one game. Starts to drive, backs up, fires a three in, and good again. Weatherspoon, back-to-back -back threes. Yeah, that was a real good boost because we needed that. We needed to get that momentum shift. Because we had, it was the home team, had a nice crowd. So we just wanted to get a crowd, what they can to see. Just play hard and get those guys a good game. Drives it, spins in the lane. Now makes a move, takes it to the hole. Shot blocked by Holman over the end line with 12 seconds on the clock. Getting no penetration to Kegler. Free throw line jumper on the way and good. Well, they got it right in the middle of the zone to Kegler, and he buries the jumper. Weatherspoon, Reddy, and Peters, three guards in the ball game. The drive by Wither, by Reddy, gets it to Datcher underneath the home. A nice speed, good ball move, but Datcher with the assist. Excellent ball move by the Bulldogs. IJ to Datcher, Datcher, a bounce pass. And the Bulldogs steal it on a steal and a jam on the other end by Hugh Weatherspoon. He anticipated that cross-court pass and got to it. 15 to a long three. Weatherspoon, yes! Deep on the left, and he buried it. And the Bulldogs get a big shot out of Hugh Weatherspoon, his third three in the second half. At the top of the key, bounces it in the corner. Reddy starts to drive back to Peters, gets an open look at a three on the way, and good. Peters, first three of the ball game, puts the Bulldogs up by a couple. Well, the Bulldogs defending all, all day long has been good, Jim. That's what's kept them in the game. Stapleton down the lane with a left-handed hook up and in as he had a hand up there, and he had to force it up high to get it into the goal. Shot it right over the top of Tony Trocha Morales, one of the 6'10 guys. And that's where Stapleton played in the four position. Defensively, it's a mismatch, but on offense, he has a little bit of an advantage because he's really a perimeter player. 63 to 59. Collins gets the inbound. A half minute to go in the ball game. Collins on the offensive end. He's going to throw it down inside to Tyler Davis. He's going to work underneath and put it up no good. Tap no good. Rebound on the floor. I.J. Reddy gets it off the floor. Dribbles it. Throws it up long to Weatherspoon. He's going to go slam it. Bulldogs are going to win it with 14 seconds to go. A timeout is called. 67-59. Trayco Morales with a long one at the buzzer. It is short. The game is over. And Mississippi State with a 67 to 59 home victory over Texas A&M. And the Bulldogs break up a four-game winning streak for the Aggies. And it was a well-played ball game by Mississippi State. We have, uh, you know, played a, a, a tough schedule against really good teams in Alabama and A&M. And, uh, you know, it was important to get a win at home after getting two road wins. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect. And America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take On 2017 event and save up to 2,500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5,000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs.
Blog Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Ben Howland, every Wednesday night for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home of the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda, where it's all about the flavor. top 10 team in the country, you know they're going to come out, try to intimidate you, give, give you their best punch, run the floor. And we just want to not, not just get overwhelmed, make the game bigger than what it is. Just go out there and play our game, listen to what Coach had to say, and just compete hard. Here comes Peters with a dribble drive inside, tried to put it up and missed it. Grabbed by her rod, puts it up and in. Did a good job of keeping that pivot foot planted that time and making the head and shoulder play. Rebound is loose, grabbed out of there by Weatherspoon. He takes it to the hole and drives and lays it in. He made a little move at Fox and then sort of released back. Bulldogs tie it at six, and here comes Kentucky. On the outside, Fox to Monk and underneath to Adebayo, and he just rammed it all. Their key uh, for them is they're so good in transition offense, and we got hurt on it early. Uh, you know, that's one of the best teams in the country, so you're measuring yourself against the very best you know, uh, one of the top three teams in the country, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, it was a, a game where we, we let it get too far away from us and it had to come too far back and too many fouls. And we got to learn to play it off. And there were 52 fouls in the game, 28 on us, 24 on them. It was really a game of too many stops and starts. I thought there was a lot of physicality. On the outside, Hanlon is ready in the corner to Stapleton. Three on the way and good. Peter circles, drives it, kicks it, in and ready. On the wing, trying to get away from Hawkins. Got into the middle, turns around with a jumper in and good. Nice job of getting himself a shot for I.J. Reddy. 13 on the shot clock, Briscoe on the move. Tries to work inside, went up, missed the jam with Humphreys. A head with a bounce pass to right, driving layup is in and good. Good feed by Kegler. Every game we go in, we tell each other, oh, we got to play defense, defense. Go help us stay in this game, help us win this game. So, I mean, everybody buying to that and been paying out good for us. On the left side to Weatherspoon, playing with two fouls. He drives, he takes it inside. Gave it off to her right and slammed it in the goal. Peter starts to move, drives the lane, got inside, laid it up in the left hand, very, very nicely. 29-21 Kentucky, Stapleton on the drive, end of the lane, put one up, it's, it's knocked away, going back up is Kegler with an offensive, not really bored, he just got a ball out of the air and scored it. On the drive is Briscoe, and he just ran right over Q Weatherspoon. Then gets called for the foul. Drops it off to I.J. Reddy, down inside to Q Weatherspoon, who's posted in there, throws it back out to, and to Peters, he gets an open look, and he fires good. Well, he got the good ball movement, and Peters got a good look. On the move is Peters, shoots it off to Holman. Now underneath to Stapleton, and he jams a great feed by Holman. Here comes Peters, all the way to the rim, up and in. Boy, only four seconds, 46-34, another steal, a throw down inside. Shot wouldn't go at the buzzer, and Kentucky takes a 46-34 lead into the dressing room at halftime. Contact comes out running himself, three on one break, takes it to the hole, lays it in and good. Kegler wants to uh, dribble, starts down that baseline, gets in a crowd, lays it up, and missed it, tapped it, and it goes in. Second opportunity for Kegler goes. I think we had just came back out from half, and uh, I was just trying to get something going for the team and get us, you know what I'm saying, back on track and get us, get us to play back well. Here comes Kentucky to the hole in the corner, and now Willis cross court, and he throws a bad pass. Kegler has it. He drives to the hole and lays it in and good. We've created turnovers with good defense. Mario was key in that. He, he, he created a couple turnovers on his help defense, made another great pass for a layup. 
Uh, Mario had one of his best games as a Bulldog yesterday. 13 points, eight rebounds. I was really pleased with his overall performance and his toughness, just his, uh, you know, his, his competitiveness. You can see he belongs playing at that level against the best players in the country, you know, as a freshman. So, you know, I, I thought he and Lamar in particular did a really good job. Kegler with an open three look, and he's going to miss it. Tapped in, though, by Eric Holman. Wow. Kentucky will have ball possession. They inbound it to Briscoe. Out front to Willis. Hands it off to Monk. Monk at long range against Q Weatherspoon, who knocked it away, loose on the floor. Taken out of there by Kegler. Drops it back to Weatherspoon. Starts to drive. Heads for the hole. Lays it up off the glass. In and good by Q Weatherspoon. Good shot by Weatherspoon. Good determined drive. Nice job of ball knocked free by Holman. Picked up by Weatherspoon. Gives it to Peters. Drives it to the hole. Lays it up and in. And the Bulldogs with back-to-back breakaway buckets. And boy, Lamar Peters showed you some speed on that one, Jim. Q was out in front with that ball. And all of a sudden, Peters comes flying down the right side. He showed you his speed then. Peters has 15. Briscoe on the side. Bulldogs have cut it to 11. Driving Briscoe, put it up and missed it. Rebound loose, grabbed by Peters. Here he comes again. Bounce pass to Kegler. He stuffed it on the other end. And John Calipari calls a timeout. Yeah. We've got a nine-point ball He's game. He's seen enough of that, Jim. He went, went from a big lead in a hurry to a nine-point lead very quickly. I do saw that. We just, everybody gained their confidence back. Everybody played together and brought us back in that game. What affected uh, Kentucky was our crowd. It was so loud in the hump uh, during that one juncture when we were making that run, when we scored seven or nine points in a row. I mean, there's, that, that, that's like the greatest feeling uh, to be involved as a competitor, as a player, as a coach in that kind of atmosphere. I just can't thank our fans enough for the incredible support, our students. That's where the energy begins with. Our students were so fired up. I mean, you can see right now how fun this is gonna be moving forward with our fans and the hump being back again. That's what we've gotta get it to, how it was last night, how it was Saturday. It was great against Texas A&M. That home court advantage, I mean, we don't win the game against Texas A&M without our crowd. So I just want everybody out there watching us to know how important you are and how much we appreciate your support and your love for these kids and our team. Andrew Weatherspoon, Kegler in the corner for a three, and he makes one. A big, deep three by Mario Kegler makes it a six-point ball game. And it was a deep three, but he went straight up, shot it with a lot of confidence. The bull, uh, Kentucky was really guarding Q and left Kegler open. Here comes Briscoe off to Monk, curls in front, has his shot blocked by Weatherspoon. Grabbed by Wright, ahead to Weatherspoon, a drive to the hole, up and in and good by Weatherspoon, makes it a four-point ball game. Holman goes up to, has his shot blocked, but taken by Peters, he jumps up and fires off the baseline, a three in and good. Two and a half minutes to go in this basketball game. Bulldogs in a must score. Here comes Peters, cut off, dropped it off, wide open, laying it in his hole. Here comes Peters, driving on Fox, takes it underneath, laid it up and in. He's a 20-point guy. He's a 22-point scorer in this ball game. I just wanted to do whatever I could do to try to make the team win. And I felt like I got to take the basket every time. So I just didn't want to settle for three-pointers. I just felt like since I get to the goal, either get in there, make a layup. I create for others, and that's all I want to do. Bulldogs down now. Peters on the drive all the way underneath, laid it up and in again. He's just taking it up in there and scoring. He's going to dribble it out. The final's going to be 88 to 81. It wasn't a bad loss because it's a top 10 team in the country, but it wasn't a good loss. No loss is good, but going into the Tennessee game, we want to go on the road, get a good W, and just keep building and just keep going on the road so we can meet the NCAA tournament.